So we're in Tulsa, and uh, I was we we're there this morning for some wrestling in uh, the morning session, and I'm thinking like, dude, we're in Tulsa, right? So this is like the Super Bowl of youth tournaments, right? Like. And that's, you know, the most important thing ever is winning youth world championships, right? Um, yeah, dude, everybody's trying to get the eagle. And it's it's literally like all, it's the it's all the crazy, like, uh, fans, right? Just crazy, passionate wrestling people. Like, all of them are there. And uh, <clears throat> the first person I spoke to that wasn't one of our wrestling parents inside, uh, this lady sitting in front of us, she's from South Carolina, sweet, sweet lady, um, seven boys, whatever, and they were talking about how, like, I mean, they basically just drive five, seven hours in any direction to, like, find training partners and stuff because they want to be better and, like, don't know what to do, you know? Like, they're, they're just literally trying to figure it out on their own. Like, they got a man at their house and whatever, and they're kind of getting up with any coach that, you know, is reputable and just trying to figure it out the way. And I was thinking about, by the way, her sons are pretty good. Like, I would say they're they're better than most people doing that. Um, got to watch him wrestle stud. Shout out to him. But yeah, like, all I could hear in what she was saying is like, that she, that like they need and want a resource, right? And, and uh, that's what Ironclad Methods is. Like, it's a resource for that. Uh, immediately after one of my kids didn't have a partner, went down to the floor. The next person I speak to is a, a family from Ohio, and they're traveling. They're like the only kid that's real serious at their program, out of their club, and he didn't have a partner or whatever. And so they're like, yeah, sometimes we try to pair with the St. Ed's kids because they're from Ohio and we kind of see them everywhere, but you know, we don't have a partner. So, anyways, our kids drilled together at school, and dad was just saying, like, hey, you know, we're at, he's like, yeah, you know, we learned the Crab and Half series and like, man, he's just been killing everybody with like, it's awesome. Like, and, I, and I was like, yeah, dude, Crab and Half series is awesome. And like, it's kind of writing cursive and I'm just small talking with it. He's like, yeah, but you know, we do like to learn some legs and like, I don't, I'm not really good with legs. I don't know how to do that. And you know, he's kind of getting to the pinnacle of like, whatever I can teach him, you know, I can't really help him anymore. So dad obviously wrestled whatever else. And, but his kid's 12 and he's like, that was voice of concern that like, they want to keep getting better. He doesn't have partners. He doesn't have, you know, a bunch of people at his club to train with. They travel along, whatever. So they're kind of thugging this thing out on their own too because they're more passionate than whatever. They're trying to move at their own pace like everybody in wrestling does, but they just don't have a resource. And I felt bad, but I was basically like, yeah, dude, I mean, you're, you guys are on the same journey that everyone else is. And uh, I started telling them that we were trying to do this project, this, this Ironclad Methods project, to, to just be a resource for that. And um, yeah, all I could think was like, dude, every single person needs this. Like every single person needs it. And I, I don't want to be, you know, I really don't want to be the Johnny Cool guy or whatever else, or, or I'm not trying to badmouth anyone else around, but like I just, drives me crazy for like those people to be so passionate they drove 16 hours to get to the tournament this weekend and you know like they want some next steps and they just don't know what's next and so somebody has to lay that out for them and like not care who gets credit and so yeah i guess that's what we're trying to do every time i talk to somebody i just get to arrive at the same conclusion that like they need this resource and that's what we're going to try to create